Hello everyone, Phil Pravda here from SuitCafe.com and uh, I'm back at it here and I'm going to show you a new update to a video I did two years ago. You could see me there on the uh, big screen two years ago about how to fold your trousers, whether they're from a suit or just uh, any sort of trousers that might have a crease in the front, how to fold them and put them in your luggage so when you take them out, there'll be no creases and no wrinkles. So we're going to go through it a bit right here, me sitting here in the chair. Uh, at the desk and then uh, I'm going to get up and show you uh, a full length uh, view of how to do that because there's something I want to show you that's uh, extremely important and um, I want to show that to you now because what's the most important part of uh, folding the trousers the most important thing here is uh, lining up uh, the zipper and the closure whether you have a clip closure or whether you have a button closure it's very important to line this up properly because when you line up the top about around the waistband that is going to cause you to line up your creases because you need the creases lined up if you fold your suit pants or your or any kind of trousers that way into your luggage without lining up the creases the creases will be off and you will create another wrinkle or even a second crease when it's in your luggage and then when you get out and you try and wear it you'll have two creases which you don't want or you'll have your crease sort of waving over to one side or the other which you don't want either you want it to fall straight uh, onto your shoe with that one single nice crisp crease so here's the part that's very important and hopefully you can see all of this i think you can uh, but you want to make sure that the zipper is open the first thing you do is open up the zipper Open up the zipper, make sure that the pockets on the inside of the pants, you, this, you, you could always find this, uh, usually pants have two back pockets. This also has two front pockets, which are mostly sewn in, but the two back pockets are sort of uh, free flowing here. Make sure those are pointing down inside the trouser. And what you wanna do is you wanna take the closure here. This has a double button closure. Uh, actually three buttons you have one on the inside which a lot of uh, dress pants have and you want to fold those in they sort of come sort of like pre-folded from the factory pre-pressed that way a little bit but you want to sort of fold those in so the zipper is sort of on the inside now once you fold those in and you hold the waistband together with this little piece now is on the inside the two sides the left and the right side of the front of the trouser you could basically hold it just like this. Now, by holding it just like this, with the quarter top pocket on one side, the quarter top pocket on the other side, and you have one back pocket on one side, one back pocket on the other side, you really have the trousers in half. And it's very easy this way to line up your creases. You see how those creases line up? That's very, very easy now to line up those creases. So now that you got this part, let's go to the next step and actually fold it to put it in your luggage. So like I just told you before, the most important part of folding the trouser is making sure that the top of the waistband, just both sides by the zipper, are folded towards the inside of the back of the pants. So the zipper is also sort of on the inside. So here are your pants, just like this. You can see the zipper right there, the zipper is open. And then the front part gets folded in. Sort of take the two, a good guide is to use the two first belt loops on either side and sort of almost put them together. So once you have that, you can hold the entire trouser just like this, straight up and down like you'd be wearing it, like that. And it pretty much falls kind of naturally right along the creases, which is really what you want. You want it to fold naturally right, around, right along the creases. And all you have to do is just give it a flip, just like this. Just keep it along the creases, fold it in half. The bottom of your pants, the plain bottom or a cuff, whatever you may have, should match the top of your waistband just like that so that's how it looks on this side and if I turn it around that's how it looks on this side so you have the bottom of the leg matching the top of the waistband once you have that you can just fold it one more time if you need to sometimes I like to keep it just like this depending on the size of the piece of luggage I'm using and I just lay it flat in the luggage just like that or if it's a smaller piece like a carry-on bag for an overhead compartment I fold it one more time in half just like this and it really doesn't matter how long you fly or how long you might be on a train or in a car you just take it out just like it was let it drop down naturally keep always the keeping always the uh, creases together and just let it hang on a hanger just like this and if there are any sort of slight indentations or folds that may have come from it being folded like that 
those will fall right out in a very short time. It won't be a crease, it's sort of a fold that folds right out. So you can go ahead and uh, just follow it uh, just like that. So that's basically how you fold a uh, pair of trousers for your luggage. There won't be any wrinkles. I'll show it to you here again. This is a darker trouser. This is a chocolate brown, but the same thing. Take the two sides of the zipper, make sure the zipper's on the inside, match up those belt loops on the outside, hold it together so the creases sort of fall naturally, and just give it a little flip. Line up the bottom of the pant to the top of the waistband and give it another fold over, just like that. And there you have it, just like that. Nice and small, put it in your carry-on, or if you want to, you can leave it open and just have one fold like this and put it flat like that, and you could put your suit jacket or sport jacket if you want, or some shirts right on top. So I hope you like that fold. Uh, please try it out yourselves. I know many of you enjoyed my newest update to how to fold a suit jacket for your luggage. Uh, my original video of that has over 1 million views, so thank you everyone for that. Please subscribe to the channel because a lot of new things are coming up. We're going to be doing a few giveaways, which uh, might be very interesting for a lot of people. I'll be talking more about that soon. And uh, see you all soon when I'm back at it. Thank <laughs> you.